introduce our team. I am Muhammad Rahim Bima Satrio. I am Kasim Muhammad Zaki. And I am Shad Ananda Majid. We are now in the 8th grade of junior high school at Sabrina Vietnam, Surabaya, Indonesia. We started learning robotic programming since 4th grade of our elementary school. Starting from the simple one like line tracer robot, then starting to learn AVR microcontrollers using C or C++ programming languages. We have won several national competitions in Indonesia region, such as Light Tracer Analog, Underwater Robot, May Solving Robot, Drone, and Transporter Robot category either as solo or as a team. This is our fourth time participating in RCIP competition. The previous arc as follows. RCIP Tianjin 2021 U12 Autonomous Driving First Step Category RCIP IG Japan 2021 U19 Ghostface Autonomous Driving Challenge RCIP Tianjin 2022 U19 Ghostface Autonomous Driving Challenge And our achievements so far in RCIP competitions are the second place for RCIP Tianjin China 2021 for Ghostface Autonomous First Step U12 category. The first place for RCIP IG Japan 2021 Ghostface Autonomous Driving Challenge U19 Super Team. And it was delightful that our video presentation had awarded the first place for RCIP Influencer Award Community Awareness for the same category. Here's our preliminary executive summary. We are in Cospace Autonomous Driving Challenge U19 category. The challenge is to coach the robot to travel the virtual city through all the checkpoints and reaching the finish point as fast as possible. The strategy we use. Number one, finding the best route. When we planned the fastest route, sometimes we found out that we have to take shortcuts to cut the time. The consequences of using this strategy is the inconsistency of the robot. Most of the time, the robot would fall out the track and run unstable. Number two, experimenting. Doing trial and error to find the best combination of the program. To find the best performance of the robot to get through all the checkpoints and reaching the finish point. Number three, line tracking using PID or proportional integral derivative. PID is the best way to stabilize the robot so it can follow the line properly. Here's the map from the previous challenge. As we can see here, there are six checkpoints we must take before reaching the finish point. Our mission is to code the program to travel the map through all the checkpoints and reach the finish point as fast as possible. As seen in this picture, there are six checkpoints we have to accomplish. Each of the checkpoints lines in different places. First of all, we need to analyze how to reach each one of them from the starting point to the finish point. After analyzing the map and the strategy used, we decided that the red line is potentially the most optimum route to get the faster time. As the robot starts to run, it takes the first shortcut. It will cross over the line or doing a shortcut to cut the time. The robot then takes a 45 degree turn to the right and follow the line until reaching the first checkpoint. After that, it will go backwards to turn left following the line until reaching the second checkpoint. The same way as the movement before, it will go backwards to turn left until it reaches a circle intersection and get the next checkpoint, then turning back to reach the fourth checkpoint. The fifth and the sixth checkpoint is reached by following the line. After all the checkpoint is through, then the robot takes a shortcut crossing an intersection and following the line to the finish point. After analyzing the best path that has the best possibility as the shortest route, then we start to analyze the best strategy used to pass all the checkpoints. We found out that we need 6 shortcuts to reach this checkpoint. In this picture, we can see the location of the shortcuts. As we can see in this picture, this is the flowchart of the shortcut that we used for the previous challenge. If the robot detects the color magenta, 
the robot will turn left. If not, then it will continue to the next program. If the robot detects the color blue, the robot will turn right. If not, then it will continue to the next program. If the robot detects the color yellow, the robot will go forward. If not, then it will continue to the next program. If the robot detects the color purple, the robot will turn left 90 degrees. If not, then it will continue to the next program. If the robot detects the color green, the robot will go forward. If none of these colors are detected, then the program will repeat the cycle as mentioned above from the beginning. The PID, aka Proportional Integral Derivative, is used to control the robot to follow the line with high accuracy. As seen in the table here, the sensor will detect error based on how it senses the white line. If the error value is less or more than zero, then it will automatically be corrected to the optimal position, which is zero. Thus, this method will allow the robot to follow the line precisely. This is the first shortcut. This is the second and third shortcut. This is the fourth shortcut. This is the fifth shortcut. And finally, this is the last shortcut. Technology has a purpose for making human lives easier and helping to solve mankind's problems. In our daily lives, we are already using technology, for example, in mobile banking technology, games application, our handphones, even in our social media application, etc. By learning co-space autonomous driving, we find out that this technology has already applied to a foreign traveler's car. Nowadays, the engineers are already developing research how to combine radar, sensors, camera, and artificial intelligence to a vehicle to travel without human operator. How technology really makes our lives so much easier. Finally, we would like to thank RCAP for the priceless opportunity to be a finalist in this competition and for the knowledge we have. Thank you to our mentor.